and gentlemen, if you click this video because you want a bulletproof mindset, you've come to the right place. Now, we've been told to have a bulletproof mindset, we have to go through 12 months of Navy SEAL basic training and have a black belt in jiu-jitsu and cold plunge every single day. But it's actually much easier than that. And for most people, they want a bulletproof mindset for three reasons. To get filthy rich, to get that girl, and to be that guy that everyone respects. Well, you've come to the right spot. My name's Govan, and I went from a salesman who barely hit his number to earning enough commission to buy a house in London, nine years earlier than the UK average. I did this by using a cookie jar. Wait, what? In this video, I'm gonna share with you not only what a cookie jar is, but why you need one, how to make one, and how I actually use mine. This cookie jar will make you bulletproof. On a cold, rainy British winter morning, as I was waiting for a train to London Waterloo, I broke a habit. I opened Audible, not Spotify, and that's where I saw it. Amazon bestseller, Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins. As I pressed play, little did I know how much that single action would impact my life. Like tens of thousands of people out there, this book changed my life. In the book, Goggins refers to a cookie jar, something that he revisited in times of struggle. A cookie jar is a place where you store all the achievements that you have and all the challenges that you've overcome. This could be running a 5K, climbing a mountain, or surviving that especially difficult time in your life. You store them, preferably in a physical place, to remind yourself in times of struggle of who the fuck you actually are. 99% of people have that internal voice that constantly criticizes them. You probably find yourself saying, that girl's out of my league, or I don't deserve a raise, or I always miss target. And that's the problem 99% of people face. Their biggest critic is themselves. The world will criticize you enough, you don't need to add to it. Maxwell Maltz in Psycho-Cybernetics explains why your self-image is the epitome of what you will achieve in life. Constantly putting yourself down will destroy your self-image. That's why guarding it is so important. The cookie jar is the best way to guard it. Step one, find a jar or something you can store paper in. Step two, get a piece of paper and write down all the things that you've achieved that give you a sense of accomplishment. So for example, this could be climbing a mountain, having a kickboxing fight or starting your own business. I'd then spend the next five minutes writing down things that you've done that are notable. You should have at least 15, maybe 20. Then every day after that, I'd add to it. Step three, think of all the challenges that you've had in life that you've overcame. This could be a teacher doubting you or bouncing back from redundancy or dealing with rejection. These don't have to be monumental achievements. These could be something as simple as waking up early and going to the gym. It just needs to stir up a sense of accomplishment in you. Step four, once you've written everything down, put it into a jar. There's no point of writing this stuff down and then never looking at it again. You have to consistently remind yourself of who you are. So this is what I would do. Place it in an area of high traffic in your house. This could be at your desk or next to the mirror where you get changed in the morning. Every day you pass it then for the first time, open the jar and pick something out and read it. This isn't some law of attraction stuff where I say, oh, if I keep reading this piece of paper, I'm gonna be a millionaire one day. It doesn't really work like that. These are accomplishments that you've already achieved. Reading this every single day will consistently reinforce in your head that you are who you say you are, as you have a stack of undeniable proof that says so. Doing this consistently is so important because it will help you build resilience. In times of struggle, you'll have something that 99% of people don't have, a stack of undeniable proof that you are who you say you are. In this video here, I actually show you why it's so important to be resilient over a long period of time when you're starting something new. If you wanna know why being resilient is so important, click this video here. I 